Lucy Hayward is a money expert. She's been doling out tips and advice for the last 20 years. I was about uh, 10 when I started. <laughs> <laughs> it's live to our central London studio where we can speak to personal finance expert Sue Hayward. Sue, who is a personal finance expert. But Sue Hayward is here with us. Well, let's talk to Sue Hayward, personal finance consumer expert. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd read a script that said current accounts pay more than savings accounts. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, historically, current accounts were absolutely rubbish. You would just not put your savings in them. I mean, even if you're going into a shop, they're so keen to flog your store cards. And if you go in and think, hey, I can get 15% off today by opening a store card, you may be lulled into that full sense of security. You then forget to pay the bill. Sue Hayward is our regular money commentator here on Breakfast. Sue, good morning. Hello, Declan. Uh, to you. And personal finance expert Sue Hayward disagrees. But how are people feeling, do you think, about the money in their pocket at the moment? Well, I think when it comes to the pound in their pocket and you picture the average family sitting around the dining room table working out their budget, they're really struggling. Police, for example, have a huge credit union. The NHS has one. And there's some all over the country. I mean, there's some big ones in Glasgow and even Surrey which is sort of prime commuter belt there's a credit union there now a lot of property investors substantially reduce their returns because they have invested in the wrong property here are Sue's top tips for choosing the perfect property investment do you know what? I declutter the loft and I have to say one of the best things I saw and I still can't believe I did it my daughter had a lampshade and it was Disney princesses when she was into the princesses sold it to a lady in Australia for more than I paid for it and I think the fact is this isn't people just spending their savings because they're feeling a bit flush or they decide they want to splash out. This is actually being done out of necessity. That's true. I mean, some stores, particularly for example, Debenham, say they need up to five days. Right? What are they, doing? they said, carrying the stuff to well, the store on their back. It's bizarre, isn't it? And they actually said it's five days from dispatch. The government could go so far as trying to cap prices. I think in theory that sounds a great idea, but the reality is they just couldn't possibly do it. And let's face it, it is a competitive market. You need to go to your old bank, say, hello, I'm moving. And they have three days. So that's, converse, that's this is conversation it. to have. Isn't about it. I'm moving. <laughs> is this good news? I think for homeowners, they really should take this as almost a, an early warning system, if you like. And the fact that at the moment, mortgage rates have been low historically. Yes, the Bank of England base rate has been historically low for the last five years. And joining us live in our central London studios, personal finance expert Sue Hayward.